Okay, so good morning everyone. I welcome you back to this wonderful tutorial. And um, to those of you that are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe and also don't forget to share to others. So we have an interesting question. We have an interesting question under momentum, impulse and collision. And if you don't get it, make sure that you inbox me on this WhatsApp line and I'll be able to respond to you. So just a quick one, let's try to get through this question so that we may be able to uh, really provide the solution to the problem. So they're saying that the ballistic pendulum is a device used to measure the speed of a projectile such as a bullet. Okay, so we're dealing with a bullet, take note. The projectile, of mass M is fired into a large block of wooden uh, or other materials. Of mass M, projectile together swing up to a maximum height, which, is, which has been given as H, show that the initial horizontal speed of the projectile V and the maximum height are related by V is equal to M plus this mass over M, then multiplied by this. Okay, so what they just want us to do is simply to show the relationship that exists between velocity and some height. But using this formula, but then how do we go about this one? So I think uh, I have illustrated already the datum. So in the question, we are given the mass of the, of the bullet and it was given to be M. Then we are given the mass of the material to which it hit in and it's represented by a big letter M. Then, of course, we know that it's a projectile, so it's going against gravity, so it's, it has some potential energy. Then, of course, we know it's, it's in motion, and then automatically it possesses some kinetic energy. So now, the best way to solve this question is, first of all, to conserve the momentum. So in my previous video, I taught you, and I taught you how to assist how to conserve the momentum. So the first thing to do, let's conserve the momentum. Okay, so to conserve the momentum, okay. Conserve, what's this? Conserve the momentum. We we'll conserve the momentum. So to conserve the momentum simply means that V multiplied by M is going to equal to V1, then some mass plus this M. The, the mass of the, of, of the wooden block, like this. So if conserve the mass, whatever is this side is also equal with this side. In the first place where the bullet, the bullet hits into this, into the wooden material, so we double the mass. Of course, we, we double the mass. We can name this one as our equation one, okay? But then we know that it's, it's moving against gravity. So of course, got potential energy, and potential energy is given by mgh. And of course, we know that the mass was doubled, so potential energy this time around is gonna equal to, we say, M plus big letter M, then GH, like this. Okay, so we know that kinetic energy is equal to one over two, MV, squared, one over two mv squared. So this automatically simply means that the kinetic energy will also be doubled, the mass also be doubled, so it's going to be one over two. Here where there's this mass, we are going to place m plus the big letter m and v to the power two. Okay, so upon doing this, we know that kinetic energy and potential energy are, are both energy and energy is conserved. So what we're going to do, we are going to equate the both. So we're going to say that let this kinetic energy now equal to 
the potential energy. So it simply means that we're going to have 1 over 2 m plus big letter m for the mass of the material, the wooden material, some v squared equal to m plus this big letter m then gh. And of course, we know that this and this are going to cancel. We remain with 1 over 2 v squared equal to gh. And of course, we know that this is going to be this to the power 2 equal to 2 gh. Square root, we square root, we are going to have v equal to, we have v equal to the square root of 2 gh. Okay, so now we can name this one as solution 2. Upon reaching here, remember we conserve the momentum. So the, we, we said that conserving the momentum, we had Vm equal to V1m plus this, like that. Then automatically we, ha we, we, get, we want to remain with the velocity, which is the initial. So it's going to be over m, over m. Cancel both sides. We're going to have V equal to M plus big letter M, then V. Of course, this is V1 and V1 over M. Okay. So we can name this one as 3. Then we can say that we can show that equation 2 into 3. So this is going to be V is equal to M plus this over M. While there is this VI, we can replace with this expression. And finally, we are going to have something like this and that is our final answer we have proved we have shown that there is a relationship between this velocity and the height and it is represented by this formula so this is how you go about this question it's very simple don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and Remember, we are doing the Physics Olympiad, so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much.